hey guys welcome back to my channel so right now my hair is straight a little lifeless and boring so i'm gonna show you how i went from this to these perfect heatless curls stay tuned with this hairstyle i usually start at the back and then work my way up to the top of my head i'm going to start at the nape of my head and part from ear to ear so i usually start at the top of my ear not including my sideburn and work my way over i really don't worry too much about how straight my partings are because i'm obviously going to take these down however i do worry about how thick each parting is just so that my curls are uniform and that they're the same um, looseness all the way around next I'm going to grab the only product that I'm going to use in this tutorial which is my Paul Mitchell super skinny serum and I'm going to apply that to my hair especially my ends just to smooth them down After creating two knots in the back nape, I'm going to work my way up my hair and I'm going to part right at my temples and then bring it on over to the other side. I'm going to follow the same step of applying the super skinny serum to my hair, especially my ends. As you all can see, I do have lightened ends, so we want to protect those babies at all costs. I typically don't use a lot of product when doing this hairstyle because I usually do it just a couple days before I need to wash my hair just to extend that wash day out just a couple more days. So when doing this hairstyle, I use less product to make it a little bit more flowier. When I put too much product in my hair, it becomes stiff. So I don't want stiff hair. With these Bantu knots, I usually use bigger sections in order to make my curls a little looser. Remember, the smaller the section, the tighter the curl. So with each section, I'll take the hair and start twisting from the scalp and start twisting my hair down around itself. Once it becomes tight with tension, I'll start wrapping it around and simultaneously twisting in order for it to become a really, really neat, precise Bantu knot remember it is very very important that your hair is twisted along with knotting it so it's kind of like a twist twist type thing i'll secure it with a black rubber band in order to make sure that it's tight and there you go band two knot I'm just gonna continue that motion all the way to the top of my head, making sure that all of my Bantu knots are even in thickness, secure and tight, so that they come out as perfect as possible. And there you go, girl, you all knotted up. But wait, we're not done yet. So next I'm going to take a regular shower cap and on top of that, put a fitted bonnet on. What that is going to do is create heat on your head, causing moisture, and then that moisture is going to lock 
in your knots for you. Do this right before bed and then take your butt to sleep, girl. Good morning! I removed both of the caps and made sure that my knots were dry. And I'm going to take my super skinny serum again and place that on my hands and take down each knot individually. Once they're all down, now I'm gonna start separating, just pulling each of the curls apart one by one. Now there are two ways that you can do this. You can separate each curl very carefully in order to cause minimal frizz. I personally like a little bit of frizz, so you'll see me in this video taking it down, combing through it, fluffing everything because I like that look. I don't, I like it to look a little lived in, you know, like it's growing out of my scalp this way, even though it's not, but you know, you can create the illusion. So you'll see me in this video fluffing and pulling apart, raking through my hair with my hands and everything like that in order to create my personal perfect preference. Quick sidebar, if you do have a white tooth comb or a pick, I would use that to fluff your roots in order to create more separation and volume. You don't want any of those parts showing. You want it to look like it's growing out of your head that way, girl. There you go. Perfect, easy, heatless curls. Go on ahead. Do me a favor and like this video. Also, try out this hairstyle during this quarantine and comment down below if you tried it out. If you're not subscribed yet, why, why, why haven't you? Go on ahead, click on my face, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.